Hey guys, it is Sergio here with Tech Over Clock and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the TechNet Gaming Mouse. Is it the best for PUBG? Is it good? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright guys, well taking a closer look at the mouse we can see that we got one, two, three, four, five different buttons on this side. We also got a thumb breast in here, which is pretty damn cool. On the side of the mouse we got a pinky rest for your, you know, when you're gaming like that. And you may ask yourself, what is this here? Take a look at the bottom. It's got a little slider button and it pops this thing, pops it out. And you can get it out. I removed the weights because I do not like heavy mouses. But if you do, well, you just put them in like that and you can remove them like so. But each little weight is four grams. So you got two, four, six times four, 24 grams you can add to your mouse. In my opinion, like I said, I don't like it. Uh, so uh, I remove them and then I have an empty compartment i don't like heavy mouses in my opinion you know we got the uh right click left click we have a click on the scroll wheel and we also got you know the scroll thingy and over here we got the dpi changer settings all right here guys uh we have an led light bar that shows the increments of the dpi settings so the very low one is like the first one and then it goes up according to what you set it up in the software it does come in with a software so i'll show it to you in a minute at the bottom we got one two three four five slider pads or plastic pads whatever they're called the cable is six feet and it's braided so that is pretty cool the material of the mouse well some parts of it it's glossy like in here the buttons on the side they're not glossy part of the mouse like right here this side of the mouse it's kind of like um rubber coating into the plastic also the top as well so that is pretty cool pretty neat and well at the back of the mouse we got the logo it says technet like i said the cable in length is six feet and also is gold plated at the usb connector and well inside the box is the warranty card from technet and we got some guides in here so it shows you how to set up your uh, mouse in the software but i'll show it to you here in a minute all right guys well taking a look at the software we can see that we got a lot of options that i really don't understand like angle snap what scroll speed yeah i get that one Double click speed, um, yeah, I get that one too. Let me see if I can change it to fast or slow. All right, let's we'll just leave it at fast. Mouse speed. Hmm, what is this? Is it any faster? Are those necessary settings? I don't know, I'll leave it at that. USB uh, report rate, uh, we'll leave it at that, at 1000 megahertz, one millisecond. Lighting, uh, right here, this is kind of useless. I've been messing around with the lighting and uh, it doesn't really do anything, but change the speed of the uh, light effect. Um, the DPI settings, you can change your DPI settings according to our, you can change the color settings for the color of the mouse, the lighting, according to your DPI settings. And you can also change your DPI right here, your DPI speeds. Um, right here, button assignments. Uh, like I said, we are on uh, the side, right? We're on side. And you can change like button number eight. I already pre map my keys for PUBG as like, you know, a single one for primary weapon. Uh, button number nine, which is this one for secondary weapon, number two. Uh, button number 10 is for heals. So I got this one for healing, you know, bandages. Uh, number 11, I have it for single fire or rapid fire or uh, automatic fire. And button number 12, well, I'm not really using it that much. So I just, you can disable it. Uh, or you can put whatever. In the front side, you can also change your uh your colors here you can change it to as an example button number one 
you can put whatever. I just don't mess around with that stuff, to be honest. Now, let's talk about the lighting of the mouse. Well, the only thing that lights up is the scroll wheel and the logo at the back. The side buttons here, they stay orange. The color do not change. And that is something that, uh, I guess, is a little bit of a letdown. Or I guess it's the logo of the company, or I have no clue. But these uh, LED lights on the side buttons do not change. Also, right here, the LED indicator, as you change the speed, the light goes up or down to let you know which setting you are on. All right, it's time for the final thoughts of this review. What do I think of this gaming mouse? Well, things that I didn't like. I didn't like the lighting color and lighting effects. They're just very plain and simple, and for being 2018 or 2017 when it got released, I think that they should have done a little bit better other than the standard side orange colors and well the poor led lighting um everything else on the mouse is great i really like the ergonomic design and i like the way that they place the buttons type of mmo type of gaming mouse if you will but you know the thing that i like is that it doesn't have all the 12 side buttons you know the number pad on the side so that is great and why do i say that well i did play with an mmo gaming mouse and i didn't like it at all for pubg and you know that you need those side buttons and there those shortcuts if you will uh you need you know your medic you need your heals you need your painkillers you need all of those shortcuts in your mouse so you are not distracted when you are playing pubg now this mouse is not, you know, made for PUBG exactly, but I think that it's, since I play PUBG a lot, I think it's one of the best mouses that I have played so far. So this mouse is going to replay my Corsair Harpoon. And what I like about it also is that it's not too heavy, it's not too big, but it's not too small. I think it's on the perfect side. And if you ask me playing PUBG with this mouse, I get pretty good kills. I mean, I do hit the target when I hit them uh, most of the time. <laughs> so if you're thinking of getting this mouse, um, it's a yes or a no. I say it's a yes. If you don't really care about the lighting effects, then this mouse is perfectly great for PUBG or any type of FPS games. Alright guys, this was your host, Sergio with Take Over Clocked. Don't forget to give me a like down below, subscribe if you're not already, become part of the family. Join my Discord as well, I'm going to leave it down below in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.